Nick was born in 1982 in Melbourne, Australia. Nick was born with Tetramelia syndrome, a very rare disorder whereby someone is born with an absence of all four limbs. But despite some major challenges, Vujicic and his Life Without Limbs ministry have reached millions of people across 68 countries, a feat he credits to God. He can type 43 words a minute on a computer. That's right, you heard me correctly. This is a guy who has an absence of all four limbs, but can type 43 words per minute on a computer. Brian Tracy was born in Vancouver, Canada, and is the CEO of Brian Tracy International, a company that specifically sets out to help individuals and organizations develop, train and grow. His lifetime achievements are phenomenal, consulting huge numbers of businesses, hosting huge numbers of seminars and conducting years and years of research in business, economics, psychology, and philosophy. Robin Sharma was born in 1964 in Nepal, and straight out of the Dalhousie University School of Law, became a professional lawyer. Sharma has written a total of 15 published books, from 1995 to 2011, on the subjects of self-help and leadership. One of his most popular books written, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, has sold over 5 million copies worldwide. Dr. Wayne Dyer was born in 1940 in Detroit and spent the majority of his childhood in an orphanage. Dyer was in the U.S. Navy after graduating high school from 1958 to 1962. The first book that Dyer ever wrote has now had over 35 million copies sold, and he's proceeded to continue with his lecture tours, release various audio tapes, and publish a regular stream of books. Zig Ziglar was born in 1926 in Alabama and passed away on November 28 in 2012. Zig actually served in the Army from 1935 to 1946 during World War II. He started taking part in motivational seminars and also wrote his first book in 1975 titled, See You at the Top. This was the first of at least 15 books he'd written during the period of 1975 and 2012. Sandy Maheshwari is an Indian entrepreneur, photographer, and motivational speaker. He also struggled, failed and surged ahead in search of success, happiness and contentment. Just like any other middle-class guy, he too had a bunch of unclear dreams and a blurred vision of his goals in life. His unshakable faith in the divine power grants him strength to thrive. Being at the helm of success, it is quite astonishing to know that money does not lure him. And that's why, profits don't drive his organization. It's an emotional bonding with each and every person working in the company that matters for him. Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in 1947 in Austria. We all know him as the world-famous professional bodybuilding champion, and there's a very inspirational story behind Arnie's bodybuilding success. Schwarzenegger served in the Austrian army at the age of 18 years old for one year, which at the time was compulsory for all 18-year-old males. 
During this time, he would still manage to fit in his workouts between all the training and drills, whilst most people were resting. Jim Rohn was born in 1930 in Yakima, Washington, and passed away on December 5, 2009. He was a very successful entrepreneur, at one time being a vice president of a very successful sales company, NutriBio. However, after the company eventually went out of business, he was invited to speak at a meeting of one of his clubs. After this meeting, he was invited to speak at many other events and began making a name for himself. Les Brown was born on February 17, 1945 in Miami, Florida. He was adopted by Mamie Brown and, whilst in grade school, was declared educably mentally retarded. Les is another motivational speaker who is incredibly popular among the motivational video compilations that others create. Because his speeches are so deep and meaningful that they really get through to people. Tony Robbins was born on February 29, 1960 in Los Angeles. His life at home when he was young was described by him as abusive and chaotic. It was because of this that he left home at the age of 17. Originally when starting out in the world of motivational speaking, Robbins was promoting seminars for Jim Rohn. He later decided to begin his own journey by hosting his own seminars. Eric Thomas, born and raised in Detroit, was homeless at the age of 16 years old. But Eric decided that he wanted to make a better life for himself, to become someone with a life he could be proud of. Eric Thomas did just that, and you can now check out powerful advice from Eric Thomas on YouTube, including his Thank God It's Monday series. Eric Thomas has become one of the best motivational speakers in the world. His YouTube videos are legendary, and his best-selling books have taken in millions of dollars in revenue. 